Jeremy, we're here at uh, Sarah's Park. Tell us how the day has gone so far with travelling and arriving and everything else. Everything's went according to plan. Um, it was a, a very handy trip across, I think about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, very short commute between the airport and and the hotel and boys and I in nice and relaxed. I've had a bite to eat and, and we're looking forward to getting on the pitch. Yeah, and we're, we're here at the stadium, obviously a, a nice stadium to, to play football. It's important for the players to come and kind of get their bearings before tomorrow night, I suppose. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, the, the the pitch is superb, surroundings are superb and the, this is exactly why we why we came here. This is exactly where we want to be as a team and a club and, and we now have to go and embrace it and enjoy it and look forward to it. Yeah, that was the, the word that sprung to mind. We, we really embraced the challenge last week and, and we want to do the same again uh, come tomorrow night. Yeah, but we, we listen, we know that this is a, a, a totally different challenge. Um, getting a team away from home and, and getting a team at home um, I think they're expecting about seven and a half, eight thousand people at the at the ground tomorrow night. So it'll be a completely different challenge. But as I say, it's a challenge that we have to embrace and we have to look forward to. A lot asked for your team talk, your tactics. But what sort of things will you look for from the players tomorrow night? I think first and foremost that that, that that's the big thing we keep trying to get across to them is we worked so hard last year to put ourselves in these positions. In fact, it's been for four years now we've worked so hard to put ourselves in these positions, and uh, we have to enjoy this. Uh, we have to have a little bit more confidence in ourselves, a little bit more belief in ourselves, um, and we have to know that we can compete at these levels. Yeah, they will have a, an opportunity to have had a look at us, but vice versa as well, and, and no doubt you'll you'll come up with a, a game plan uh, come Thursday night. Yeah, we've, we've been doing a lot of work on them now from Sunday. Um, they're a team that they also played again on Sunday in, in their own domestic league in the Drina Leach. They made a couple of changes. Um, so they, they more likely make a couple of changes again tomorrow night. Um, but as I say, we have to do what we're good at um, and we have to make sure that we come here and, and we stand up to this and, and as I say, we enjoy it. And after the result, but also the performance last week, belief must be very high in the camp. Yeah, you, you hope so. Um, there was definitely, definitely a, a, lot of, a lot of buzz this week in training. There looked like there was a lot of confidence in training. Um, but at the same time, we, we understand it's going to be a totally different challenge. Um, it's going to be a, in a completely different game. Um, that this team, they have to come at us, uh, especially at home, um, being, being a goal behind. So we have to embrace that, we have to manage that. Um, but as I say, at the same time, we have to go and stamp our authority on the game and, and we have to show what we're good at. One player not here with us because he's already played in Europe is Ben Dougherty, but uh, we're getting a chance to speak to you for the first time since he uh, signed and that's a, a great addition for us. Yeah, Ben's a top player. Um, I, I've been monitoring Ben now for, for probably over a year. Um, he, he's a lad that, that I've admired very much. He, he's a left footer. Um, I think he just will fit in to the way we play and what we want to do. He's a top, top kid. Really looks after himself. He's absolutely early relishing the opportunity to come into full time football. Um, and, and I think he'll he'll be a big a big hit for us. And somebody who's even though he's only twenty four has got a quite a lot of experience at this level and has proven himself to be a top performer at this level week in, week out. Yeah, and that that's, that was a big thing for us. Um, our our objective here as a club is to try and get closer to the, the teams like Linfield who are, who are winning the league and Coleraine who came second last year and we have to make sure that we're we're getting closer to that and starting to get ourselves to this stage where we can potentially mount the challenge and in order to do that we need to bring that experience in, we need to bring that quality in. Um, hopefully we're not finished um, but, but Ben was a hell of a signing for us. And just finally, uh, different from the previous round, and that there, there are no grass verges for alarm fans to be able to get a game or get a glimpse of the game tomorrow night. But they will be watching at home. Any final messages for them? Yeah, I just hope that we can do them proud. Um, I, I said week in, week out, they're they're without doubt our twelfth man, um, and nothing would probably give us more pleasure than them screaming and shouting here tomorrow night and and, and their thousands. Um, and we just we we will always have that in the back of our minds that um, we have to do these boys proud and then they've been superb for us and hopefully we can give them a bit back. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.